Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review, and today's review is going to be about a company named Glamour Doll Eyes. Now, if you watch a lot of beauty videos on YouTube, I'm sure you've heard of them, heard about them by now, but if not, I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about them. Um, basically, they're a company that makes these loose eyeshadow pigments such as these. Um, the owner of the company name is V. I think her, I think that's short for Vanessa, I think her full name is. But, but anyway, so she makes these shadows out of her house or from her home. Um, she makes these herself, so it's not like she goes out and purchases these in a mass quantity and then puts them in jars and distributes them as if they were her own. No, she actually makes them from her house. Um, and I think she actually has um, a few ladies that help her out as well, so she's not just handling the load all on her own. Um, so yeah, so basically these are what the shadows look like. And the I'm actually going to be reviewing a specific collection from their line and their collect or this collection is called the Big Cities Collection. So this is what the label looks like on um, <laughs> their collection jars. So it's kind of, it's because it's called the Big Cities Collection, it has like a little cute city type label, so that's really cute. Um, so the this collection is actually going to be sold in the new 10 gram jars, so that's what this looks like. Um, I actually have four I'm going to be sharing with you. Um, before I get started, I just want to say I did not pay for these myself. These are actually sent to me for free. Um, they actually, on um, um, Glamour Doll Eyes has a Twitter, and so it's um, twitter.com slash Glamour Doll Eyes. They were saying something if you want to do a review for them for the new Big Cities collection to send them an email and they will let you know if um, they'd like you to do a review. So I did that and they sent me an email um, saying they'd like to send me some so that's how I came about getting these. So there are eight in the collection and I have four. I think I said that already but um, so this is the 10 gram jar that they come in. I'm just going to compare it to just so you can get an idea of what this size looks like. If you were buy it like a regular MAC eyeshadow, you can compare it to that. So it's almost the same as, I'm not saying the amount of eyeshadow is the same, but I'm just saying you can compare how big this jar is compared to one of these type things. If you don't know what this, um, what a 10 gram jar looks like. But, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the four that I have. The four that I have are Seattle, Miami, Philadelphia, and Pittsburgh. I actually did a makeup tutorial, um, I think about a week ago, using all of these um, eyeshadows, I used every single one of them. And so, if you haven't checked that out yet, if you haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and link that down in the description box if you want to check that out to see how these shadows are in action, in an actual makeup look. So I'll link that down below. So these 10 gram jars, they run at $9 each, which is a pretty good price considering how much product you get. Um, and for this individual, I think um, for a lot of the shadows she sells on her site, you can choose whether or not to purchase, um, or whether or not to have your shadow come with a sifter or not, because they are loose eyeshadows. Um, you can choose whether or not to have a sifter, but I think for this collection, it only you don't have an option. It basically just comes with a sifter, which I actually like the sifter because it's if you were to drop it or something, you're not going to spill as much product as you know you would if there wasn't a sifter. So this is Miami, and it's basically just a really bright yellow, and it has some red shimmers to it, or some red sparkles. So I'll go ahead and swatch that. So there is Miami really pretty yellow. The next is Seattle and it looks like this and it's basically just a grayish blue color with some um, little sparkles and it looks like the sparkles are kind of um, purples and greens. So grayish blue color with green and purple sparkles in it so it's really pretty and I'll go ahead and swatch that. So there is Seattle. Very pretty. That's one of my favorites out of the four that I have. The next is Pittsburgh. So it looks like this and it's kind of a gold olive color, so it definitely looks like it could be like a dark olive color with some gold in it and a little bit of black undertones. Very pretty, and I'll go ahead and swatch that. So there's Pittsburgh, it's also one of my favorites. This color is so pretty. I don't really have anything like it, so I was really excited to get this one. And the last out of the four that I have is Philadelphia. So that's this color here. So this is a really pretty kind of brick red color with some gold in it. Really pretty. If you've seen the tutorial that I did using these colors, I actually use this as a lip color um, because on the bottom of all the shadows, it will tell you if they are lip safe or not. So they'll say lip safe and then they'll, they'll say if they're vegan or non-vegan, um, etc. So this red color, um, Philadelphia, is lip safe. So I went ahead and mixed it with some clear lip gloss and made a lip color out of it and it, it looked really pretty. So I'll go ahead and swatch that. So there is Philadelphia. And keep in mind, these are actually, I swatched these without using a primer, so they are really pigmented. So just imagine what this would look like with a primer, especially with a colored primer underneath it. They would look ridiculous in a good way. <laughs> so these are the four that I have. Again, I'll go over them real quick. This is Miami, Seattle, Pittsburgh, and Philadelphia. Really pretty. I love them. 
So you want to keep in mind when you have loose eyeshadows or loose pigments that you may get a little bit of fallout when you're applying the shadows. You may get a little bit of fallout on your cheeks or on your face. Um, and that's just because they are loose pigments and that happens with pretty much any loose eyeshadow pigment that you use. So I definitely wouldn't count that against the product. It's just something to keep in mind. Um, when I use any kind of loose pigments and these, I always do my foundation after I do my eye look just because if you have any fallout, you don't want it to you know, disturb your foundation or anything. But um, when I actually use these for the makeup tutorial that I did, um, I actually used the Philadelphia, which is this red color in the look I did today. Um, I didn't actually experience that much fallout. You just want to make sure that when you're using it, you don't want to have a load, or you don't want to have your brush loaded with the product. You want to make sure you tap it off, or else it will fall over your all over your face. So that's just kind of a tip or a heads up if you're going to use any loose eyeshadow pigments or you purchase these. So yeah, I definitely can't wait to get some more shadows from this company. Um, I've always wanted to try them, but for some reason I just haven't. And so now that I've I've had them, I've tried them, I love them. I'm definitely going to um, look into getting some more. Um, they're really affordable, especially for the amount of product that you get. So I'm definitely going to be getting some more and so when I do maybe I'll do I don't really do haul videos but maybe if I purchase quite a few um, off the site then I'll do a haul just so I can kind of show you guys some more All right, so that's it for my review I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it kind of helpful if you were thinking about purchasing any of the shadows from the glamour doll eyes site um, if you've never visited their site before I'll go ahead and leave the link for that down below as well as their Twitter account if you'd like to follow them on Twitter I'm actually really interactive with their Twitter followers um, if they want to get some ideas for what to name their shadows, I remember when they had the, I think the 80's Child Collection, as well as um, the Big Cities Collection, they were basically asking for help um, on naming shadows or getting ideas for shadows. So kind of part of the creation of the shadows that they put out. So I think that's really cool. Um, so anyway, like I said, I'll put the link for their website and for their Twitter account down below if you want to check them out. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys later. Bye.